So Magic of the Iron Pentacle, Reclaiming Sex, Pride, Self, Power, and Passion by Jane Meredith and Gaday Parmer. So um, this goes on like the five points uh, uh, of the pentacle that um, in the subtitle, these are the five points. And this is like... Um, like any witch can get some points, any kind of witch or pagan can get points out of this book. But to me, like some of the stuff that they're saying, because of them being traditional reclaiming witches, those who also are um, like traditional reclaiming witches um, get what they're saying. <laughs> um, whether you're new or like, or have been practicing that type of path for many years now and this can add on to it um so like this can be a good book for people on like for for those on that path to get a deeper sense of a connection to um the pentacle but even if you're not and want a connection to the pentacle beyond its representations of the elements this could be a, a good book because like it does start um because each of these are starting with a point and then it goes um because i think it goes like it starts at the top obviously and then is it the left or right yeah so it shows you here so sex to pride so like top to like your right foot left left arm to right arm to left leg and then back up again <laughs> um so There's no evidence that naming of the Iron Pentacle is related to the science, but it provokes inter interesting thoughts. Um, in working with the Iron Pentacle, we open ourselves to a, a more intimate experience of who we are. We reveal and behold our own deep divinity. The Iron Pentacle is a more poignant way to ignite awareness within ourselves and learn to act with the balance and integrity that comes with working directly with our sex, pride, self, power, and passion. Throughout working with the Iron Pentacle, we come more deeply into our humanity and discover pathways of cleansing, release, transformation, and initiating on both personal and societal levels. So, you get the or um, origins of the Iron Pentacle, um, their history with it, how to use the book, and then you get, throughout the book, you do get um, stories from both authors and... Um, stories that are um that will connect to one of these five points so that's what like the division of like points would look like so once you get like to this each point will come up um so you get kind of like history information um exercises rituals whatever you want to call these they like they call it process so you get process you get ritual um so you get different processes and rituals throughout um so, so it's just helping you connect with each point of the pentacle and um, iron pentacle tools, deeper iron, um, but yeah, like I like to me, I'm not huge on this, but it does 
give like some great things to think about and um for those who do have an interest in the iron pentacle itself this can be a great resource it can be like a great starting point um i think there's a decent well they got a few different resources recommended reading like general reading on reclaiming and fairy traditions and then like not resources that are separated by like the points but not on the iron pentacle itself so um but it can be a decent addition to those who have an interest in the Iron Pentacle. Um, first I've heard of it, but um, but yeah, it can be a great resource. Again, it can be a great resource for some people um, who want to work on these five points, or even if you want to work on like one of these five points, grab the information that you want and go from there. Um, but it's just helping like and and this can be a great way to help you deepen your um own like which pagan path um but yeah again more on those people who do work with the iron pentacle or a reclaiming tradition so yeah uh, magic of the Iron Pentacle. Happy readings.